Hello everyone, welcome back to Success Care 24. So today we will see some of the short tricks of the questions based on problems on ages. Okay, so this is one of the most important topic for exam point of view because you can expect at least two to three questions from this topic in any exam. So let's see the questions first. Okay, so here you are given the ratio of present ages of Rahul and Rasmi is 2 is to 1. Okay, the ratio of their ages after 30 years will be 7 is to 6. Then what is the present age of Rahul? Okay, fine. So what we do usually, we just take x, isn't it? So, okay, first let me discuss the conventional method, how we used to do such questions. Okay, so let's see. Here we take, let us consider... The present ages of Rahul and Rashmi B twice x and try and x, isn't it? Because the ratio here given as 2 is to 1. Okay. So we take it as twice as x and x. Then you are given the ratio of their ages after 30 years. So after 30 years. What will be the ages of them? So it will be twice x plus 30 and x plus 30, isn't it? All right. So after that, what you were given? The ratio of their ages after 30 years is 7 is to 3. So that means it will be 7 by 6. So what do you do after that? You just cross multiply this and you find the value of x, isn't it? And from here, you just calculate the present ages of Rahul and Rashmi. That is the conventional method to do such question. And it will require more than two minutes to solve this question. But in exam, we need to solve it in a seconds, in some seconds. All right. So how to do it? So let's see. We will apply here short trick as C. We will just adjust the ratios. Nothing more to do here. You just adjust the ratios. Okay. So you see here, the first ratio is given as 2 is to 1. And after 30 years, the ratio is given as 7 is to 6. Okay. So for the short trick, you just need to check the difference of ratios here. You check from 2 to 7, there is a difference of 5 parts, isn't it? And from 1 to 6, there is a difference of 5 parts. Okay, that means vertically your ratio difference is same. Now you look into it horizontally. You will see from 2 to 1, the difference of ratio is 1. Okay. And from 7 to 6, the ratio is, ratio difference is 1. So horizontally it is equal and vertically the ratios are equal. That means difference of ratios. Here is it is 5 and here it is also 5. And here it is 1 and here it is also 1. So now you just do one thing. What do you need to do here? You just equate this 5 ratios to 30 years. Because why this differences come? In, uh, why these differences in ratios come? It is because of 30 years. That means 5 ratio is equal to 30 years. That means 1 ratio will be equal to 30 by 5. That means 6 years. So you get the value of 1 ratio. Now you know what is the present ages of Rahul and Rashmi. It is 2 is to 3. That means what you are asked to find? You are asked to find the age of Rahul. So present uh, ratio of Rahul is 2. That means... What would be the value of 2 ratio? It would be 12 years. So option B would be the correct answer. Alright. That means this is your answer. I am teaching you right now. That is why it is taking longer time. Once you learn the method, it will require only 5 to 7 seconds to solve such questions. Okay. So your answer is 12. What we do here? You just adjust the ratios. You see first the difference. Let's check 2 to 7. Here it is 5 difference and 1 to 6 the difference is 5. Then you see uh, horizontally it is difference 5 and here also difference is sorry. Here is the difference 1 and here also difference is 1. Now you just equal this 5 ratio difference to 30 years because in question it is given as 30 years. That means 1 ratio is equal to 6 years. 2 ratios is equal to 12 years. Okay. So that is how you do such question within second. So let's solve the next question using this method. Okay. Fine. So in the question number 2, you are given the present ages of A and B are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So here you just write it as A is to B 
as 4 is to 5 and after that what you are given after 5 years they will be in the ratio of 5 is to 6 5 is to 6 now what you need to look here you just look into the ratio difference vertically the difference is 1 here is difference also 1 and horizontally the difference is 1 okay so just equate this difference to 5 years that means one ratio is equal to five years then how many ratios you need uh, you are asked to find the present age of a so what is the ratio of a it is four that means four ratio would be 20 years so your required answer is option number okay that's the short method we adopt to solve this question very quickly all right so i have given a homework for you guys just do this and answer the Answer me in comment box. Okay. So that's all for the day. Thank you.